اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to look into some new features and updates on AnswerThis.io. We are going to start with basic literature review and how to use the quick and full review options in AnswerThis.io. Now, for instance, let's start with the quick Q&A. And I want to assess how servant leadership impacts organizational performance for instance this is the research question i'm trying to answer through my research so i've put in under quick q and a and now what i'm going to do is papers i'm not interested in internet if you have uploaded papers in the library you can select them from the library or you can attach or upload new PDFs as well. You've got this option of filters as well. So let's say if we can filter minimum citations, journal quality. I'm looking for journal articles, review articles. And here are the databases. Let's say we've got all them, all of them checked. And let's say I'm interested in list test research. For instance, here, let's start with 2020 and end date. Let's not select anything. So everything till now and we submit our search. Now this may take uh, a few seconds. Now it's processing our research question. So it has searched from 1,579 sources. Here are the different sources. Now here are our results. You can go through these results to see what suits your research objectives. Now what you can do is, we normally do APA in social sciences research. Now that you've done this, there are different steps that you can undertake. Now the first one that you can do is go to bibliometric analysis. Now before you do this, you have to select the research paper that you want the bibliometric analysis on. Now in this case, let's say if I do it on all, and then I've got 92 selected, click here and let's do a bibliometric analysis. Now here is the bibliometric analysis. So if you are writing a paper that is based on bibliometric analysis, this tool can be extremely helpful because it provides you the publications by year, citations by year, combined publications and citations. So a lot of work has been done recently in 2025. Citations have been, obviously, uh, as time progresses, the citations increase. Now these are the keywords. Now again, you can look into what constructs, what concepts have been studied with, res with respect to the uh, uh, servant leadership and organizational performance. Average citations, obviously, the, as the year progresses, the citations increase. And then the authors. So it's Naveed Ahmed and there are others, other authors as well. The top authors. And then there are are the common terms so for instance let's say you want to download this you can click here and have this image here now you want to expand it you can expand it as well reduce the size you can expand it here as well Now moving on, so here are different papers listed, all of them, and now you can go here. You can chat with papers as well. You can have citation map as well. So let's look at the citation map. And you have to give one, at least one paper here, and then 
it will give you the citation map now moving on once you have your literature review and you've done the bibliometric analysis to get an overview of the whole concept there are other things that can be done with respect to or with this as well now once you are done with this obviously you can work on this whole literature you can export it to document latex markdown pdf copy it share it the next feature that we are going to look into is the notebook feature. So click on notebook and let's say we add to default notebook. And here it is. So you've added this whole text into your notebook. Now what you can do further is you can export it as PDF, document, markdown, latex. You can reformat it, you can add different tables or images, you can have different, change the, the format of the text. Now let's go at the top here and you've already selected it. Let's add this to the notebook. So let's say add to the default notebook. So your paper are now being added to the default notebook. Now if you look here, what you have done is you have added that table to your notebook. Now what you have is, it's loading, just hold on. Now here is that table, that selection along with that text. So you, not only that you can add that literature that you have extracted from answerthis.io, you can add those tables to your notebook as well and then you can edit it as well now let's say you can open the full notebook here here is your full notebook it's loading now you can have further questions here further analysis as well you can search more papers you can add papers from your library as well Now here is your notebook, you can edit it here, change howsoever you want. Again, let's go back and have a look here. Let's cross this. Now you've selected all. Maybe you do not need to select all. Maybe you need to select specific research papers, then you can do that as well. Now there are PDF available for some papers, you can have those papers open for you and use them in your research as well. You can have different filters again. You can change uh, the papers that show up in your workbook or notebook as well. So this is how you can use answerthis.io to search literature, further generate a bibliometric analysis and use notebook to make a comprehensive document that includes not just the literature, but the tables that you have searched and the extracted information in the form of tables. Now, again, I would recommend you that use answerthis.io. Try the different features and try to develop an interaction of different features. The more you do that, the better it will help you in writing your research paper. Again, you have to couple it with your reading. The more you read, the more you understand how to use these tools to assist yourself and your research. Thank you very much.